Welcome to What Would You Do? And for this next portion of our show, we're going to be continuing our friends versus How I Met Your Mother bracket. This is kind of round two, uh, where all of our winners from round one, the six of them, got randomized and put into a bracket. That bracket can be found uh, if you're here on my channel, exclamation point bracket. Uh, otherwise, I'll put it in the description down below if you want to check it out. And we'll update that as people win so you can get the live feed of what's happening. So for our episode tonight, starting off with uh, game one, I'll call it here, which is Monica versus Robin. So let me type this in. Mm. versus Robin Kurbatsky. Monica, Robin. There we go. All right. Dang, this uh, is hard. I'm going to skip our yeah. Wikipedia description this time. We're just going to talk about it. We're going to go for it. Uh, we can have questions for us in chat as we think of them. But uh, any instinct here for either of you? This one's really tough. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I relate a lot to Monica's neuroses, but I enjoy a lot of the recreational activities of Robin, I think, more. Yep. But I think I would get along better with Monica as a person. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's where that's I'm a good getting point. stuck. I, my guts is Robin, I think. My guts on Robin too. Uh, she's a badass. That, so that's, is Monica that's though. She's a business. She's her, uh, a business true. owner. Monica she doesn't take is shit not, from no not one. A badass. I wouldn't say Monica's a badass. She is a business owner, but. I don't know she's a very hmm. i don't she's know i think she's balance. very uh strong-willed and headed she's very yes. career oriented um that's true versus robin also a badass but i feel like she gives off those vibes just because she has very masculine recreational activities yeah uh, space you know got mean? a good framing for it monica is a 90s badass very, <laughs> robin's, very the, robin's the 2000s are. badass <laughs> For mm -hmm. her time, she was very badass. That's a that's a good mm -hmm. frame to keep in mind. Yeah, a good lens to look at that. Uh, I think Monica's grounded a little bit more in reality too. Um, I don't know. Yeah, was well, that tough. just a show thing though? Because the whole Probably. show is just grounded a bit more in yeah. reality, mm -hmm. arguably. Then I, I, oh, I bet your mother's a bit more whimsical yeah. in their storytelling. <laughs> Definitely. But I mean, that's how the characters are presented to us. So that's the lens that. Pink. Yeah, yeah, and it's definitely a factor. Um, uh, Rob and Robin still wins for me. I'm I'm trying to think of variations of different questions to frame this in. Of like, uh, we're kind of saying generally more badass general feel, but uh, is there a contest that you could put them in? <laughs> I, how about a fight? We said that one before. I mean, I think this Robin's fight. winning a fight. Do you I though? Because I see Monica being yeah. scrappy to the death. Monica. Robin lived. Saying. Robin lived in the woods. For her like 12th birthday her dad pushed her out of a helicopter and months later she came out i'm hey. putting my vote but on that robin was canada <laughs> so that was just like fighting like bears beavers and wood nymphs <laughs> beavers yeah beavers uh, uh. um i don't know i just i'm like such split 50 50 because i do feel like monica's a better friend i think that's where i'm getting hung up I, like i said i that's like like true. robin but i feel like monica's a better friend yeah and so that's why i think i'm but when it, monica when it comes to who's a better friend i can only put one person on the high my mother side above anybody in friends and that's marshall otherwise like the friends are friends they're oh, very absolutely. good friends for each other like yeah. <laughs> none of yeah. them are too mean to each other like yeah yeah right huh i still, monica, I still like robin's winning the fight though mm. <laughs> i don't know what what instances of physical strength do we see in the show of Monica? Puts a turkey on her head. Does she? That's the, okay. She uh, arm that's, is that a feat of strength? Point? Is that a feat of strength, oh, Dr. Hale? It does. <laughs> you tell me. Have you put a turkey on your head? I know I haven't, and I'm weak. So maybe the fact that's... that she has means she's strong. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's that's true. Um. She gets Chandler in shape by making him work out with her. Monica arm wrestles and she fights Rachel. Yeah, but is fighting okay. Rachel really the claim to fame on strength? What about foosball? <laughs> She's ruthless and, Rachel. And, and is like and runs the foosball table. 
in uh, Chandler and Joey's apartment. That's her. Right? Oh yeah. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. She's not gonna be the one to land like the first, for the first punch, the third punch, maybe not even the tenth punch. Oh, but, but she's, she's never giving up. up. And she's just clawing her way to victory. I think. And she's yeah. competitive. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. The competitive I spirits. I appreciate that about her. You can apply that to Probably anything. Probably stronger, Monica. Yeah. But does yeah, that make true. her win? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh. I'm trying to. Th I'm thinking of other references like that of of like ping pong from Friends. Um, Robin's very good at laser tag. Um, what else? I. Hmm. I can't. We already had the Gellers win their respective competitions in round one, <laughs> and the Gellers are annoying. Wait, who is? I can't. Let who is Ross again? Ross beat Ted, uh, and in this in this round two part two or whatever is uh, Ross versus Phoebe on uh, next week Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about the other <laughs> sweeping again. Yeah, that's true. Um, I can't. I just. I think Robin's cooler. My gut is telling me Robin wins this this matchup. I, I do think she'd win in a fight. I think. Uh, yeah. I started 50-50, and then the more we talk, the more I find myself <laughs> obviously Monica. defending Monica. So I think yeah, I have to yeah. go Monica. Robin um, lights whiskey. Just something in my heart. Cigars, my she's cool. She's a career-driven woman as well. Uh, travels the world as a, a news anchor. Yep. Hmm. I'm trying to research on the fly. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> good. Yeah, I see you uh, frantically. We're, we're tied. We're two two right now, and we don't really have a contingency in place for a tie. How do so. I? Uh, uh oh. Vote? Oh wait, you haven't voted? Damn it! I've uh, never voted. I don't know how. Exclamation point! I haven't voted vote yet either. Space number. Uh, or you could type the name Monica or Robin. Well, this is my old Twitch name. I want to change it to the one that I have now. So. Oh yeah, yeah. You can you can still vote though if you want. Quick. So which one's um, oat space sick i think i got it hobbies and interests for robin Sherbatsky. first bullet point guns second <laughs> bullet point cigars and smoking third bullet point dogs and yeah, she's she's oh yeah what's monica's opinions on dogs probably that they're dirty which i have disagree one? with yeah oh that's Isn't another it? point Monica's like super weird and OCD about like cleaning stuff. That that's annoying. I, that that gives me more negative points on Monica. Yeah, it's yeah. awful I mean, to live in a space that works for you. How terrible. D mm, <laughs> yeah, but it's a little too extreme. I don't think. Hold on. I bet if you pose that question to any of the friends <laughs> and ask, coming from you, Cody. does Monica's space work for you? They'd all say no. <laughs> I time will tell. I guess maybe. The dogs thing is a, a huge bonus points on Robin. She has like five of them when we meet her. And then again later, five or six dogs. She has like five of them in like a one bedroom apartment though. Yeah, that like, was a little oversight. I love animals. Yeah. yeah. That's like. I agree. Let's buy some land and then let's have 17 dogs. That would be my dream. But five dogs in a one bedroom apartment. Yeah. Stinky. She does. I mean, she does get rid of them. <laughs> Well, that's worse then. Don't get dogs Wait, you can't what take she care do? of. Um, well, you can she blame you can dog. you can blame Ted. Okay, here we go. Uh, there's an episode they're dating. Um, Robin finds out that Ted keeps a lot of things from his ex girlfriends, uh, like around the house, like knickknacks, pillows, like gifts that she, he has gotten. Um, and so Robin wants him to get rid of them all because it's weird to keep things from your ex. So Ted puts them all in storage, uh, which is a part of issue because he doesn't actually get rid of it. And then he finds out that Robin's dogs are all gifts from ex-boyfriends. And so that starts a big argument with them uh, where <laughs> Ted thinks that Robin should have to get rid of her dogs. There's a vote in the party, the group of How I Met My Mother Friends. They all vote like as if Ted's being unreasonable or not, or if Robin can keep her dogs. They vote in Robin's favor, but then she still decides to give them to her aunt uh, who lives upstate New York. Terrible. Just terrible. I hate that so much. You're upending these lovely puppies lives. I mean, that's, yeah, that's not great but you can yeah you can blame her for doing it but you can blame ted for having an issue with it 
To She's some her extent. own woman. She can just not be with Ted then. <laughs> yeah, and she's. I also not. think it was a convenient way for the show to not have five more dogs in every scene that they do at Robin's apartment. So, there's that. <laughs> also a mistake, but I can respect that. I mean, I'm trying. If DJ hasn't voted now, we're arguing over your vote. So, give us some questions, DJ. What do you need to know? Robin's Canadian. She's did. Let's go to the mall. She's a pop star, Canadian pop star. That yeah. is a big up in her column. A big that is up. a bop, just for sure. Yeah. I have to vote Robin. I think. Yes. But Tied. here's the thing. <laughs> but, we fought our way back. Okay. <laughs> what happens now? I, I don't know. We could. There's a weird Chat. buy system here, so we'll have to. Yeah, if people haven't voted, vote. Uh. So that's all I oh, wait, got. Wasn't she also that. in an awful canceled Canadian TV oh, no, show with gross. like she was space on a hilarious yes she was on a hilarious Canadian TV show for kids uh, that had a lot of You're sexual framing that differently. innuendos. Mm. But she was. It was. So it, that could be you could say crappy. It was not good quality. Um, she's friends. Robin is friends with Alex Trebek. So if you like Alex Trebek, she, uh, Robin is friends with her. Him. Um, a real preference, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know, actually. Okay, uh, who is more likely to play video games with me, specifically shooters, shooting video games? Hmm. It has to be Robin. Monica I feel like would be better. She is competitive. She though. would. She, yeah. Yeah. She like wouldn't want to, but then she would like do it to prove a point, and then she would get so much better that you wouldn't even want to play anymore. Yeah, oh, they yeah. did that with an arcade cabinet, didn't they? She like played it nonstop. That that was like another yes. competitive thing she did. But I think Monica would be more willing to do it with you in the first place. Monica, just, Monica would be more willing to play a, a FPS game with you than Robin would. Um, but Robin now, likes guns. I bet you'd want to play with Robin more than Monica. <laughs> but yeah, Robin, I think, would be more fun to play. I, I think you could get her to do it. I think you would, if you pose the question of like, hey, do you want to play this game with me? Monica would jump and be like, yeah, I'm going to kick your ass. Rob would be like, eh. And then you tell her about it or like talk to her about it more. She'd be like, okay, fine. I'll play with you. Um, but it'd be less competitive. That's for sure. Yeah. The guns so, argument would, it would be what gets her. You have yeah. to shoot guns. <laughs> I feel like it depends on if you want to have a good time or have like a worthy opponent. I'm all about the good time. I don't need more competitiveness in my life, I feel like, which is what Monica brings to the table. If she was on my team, maybe then I'd be okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. Thank you, everyone. My two guests and all of you in chat for being here, uh, answering all of today's questions, the holiday themed, and also our current friends versus high my own their challenge, Monica and Robin, tied. Find the link for that ongoing poll in the description down below to make sure you vote and have your voice heard. Uh, next Tuesday, we're going to have kind of Thursday off for the holidays. I'll post some videos, including the ones recorded today uh, and some special videos that I've been holding on to. So look for those on Thursday on YouTube. And then we'll be live next Tuesday, a week from today to continue this with Phoebe versus Ross. That's our next matchup. Uh, if you've enjoyed the show, follow me here on Twitch. Turn on notifications to know when I go live. Make sure you're here for our future discussions. If you're catching this on YouTube, please like, share and subscribe. Comment your answers down below. Did we pick the right one? Uh, and if we'll still open, vote in it. Uh, remember, we're live every Tuesday and Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Central Time on twitch.tv slash fishmobile. With that, have a great night. Happy holidays. Thank you, everyone. Bye.